going to turn it over uh, to my co-host for today, Gary, um, to do the next introduction. Thank you so much, Rewaji. Good evening and welcome, friends. My name is Gary and I am your co-host for the day. Uh, thank you, Rajaji, for this very deep uh, insight that you provided. And uh, the way uh, what I have understood of this is uh, that uh, that violence is actually curable. It's not a disease. But, but it's a symptom of uh, symptom arising out of socioeconomic model that is being followed today in the in the world. Uh, disparity in any any way, whether it's resources, income, food, or power, uh, brings in more frustration and and it ignites more war, ignites more hatred. So so we need to see peace as a way of life and uh, and really need to start investing into peace. Uh, into peace education, into peace democracy, and into peace and non-violent economy. Thank you very much, Rajaji, for this wonderful input from your side. And friends, if you may allow me now to introduce you to my very dear friend from Canada, Priya Joshi. Uh, Priya was raised by parents uh, with large heart and big ideas who actually come from the families of the same. Uh, these gifts have informed everything she has chosen to do professionally, including work from AmeriCorps serving youth in her community to her current work as a horse trainer in Redmond, uh, USA. Priya is a member of Speaking Up Peace podcast team. And in all her free time, she also supports and engages with nonviolent protests and activism in her home city of Seattle. So having said this and having introduced Priya, I welcome you here. Thank you very much, Gary. Um, is my audio okay? Hopefully you can hear me. Um, yeah, loud and clear. <laughs> thank you. Okay, great. Um, I'm just here to um, introduce uh, the clips that you're going to hear today in between our wonderful presenters. Um, between each uh, presenter who's going to be speaking today, you'll hear small clips from the Speaking Our Peace podcast. Um, the idea for the podcast was born when um, I was sitting around a table, just complete replete with people who knew more than me and who had uh, who were planning and scheduling and creating actions for peace right before my eyes. Um, as I'm sure anybody here can relate to, when you are sitting around people who are taking action, it's extremely inspiring. And uh, in my mind, all I could think was, what can I do? How can I help? And um, having a little bit of experience with radio, I was really excited to share that feeling of inspiration with listeners from anywhere in the world through the podcast medium. So the podcast was born as an idea to share and um, give everybody the opportunity to sit at the table that I just had um, while I was I was in India um, while the Jai Jagat March was being planned. All I wanted people to feel was how I felt in that moment. Um, and that podcast did not really have any frame or structure until, or even like life until I was introduced to Annie Luck and Ashima Vishnoi by my aunt Reva, um, when uh, the three, uh, when the four of us would meet over Zoom during the early pandemic, um, we began to inspire each other um, and to work tirelessly to bring these stories to life. And after countless hours of interviewing, editing, and recording ourselves. Um, we, the three of us, the four of us who had never made a podcast before, were able to really create something truly special. Um, so I'm really excited for you all to hear those words that uh, we recorded um, almost almost two years ago now. So um, in between each each speaker, you will hear small clips from the podcast, but if you are interested in hearing more, you can visit our website. The podcast is called Speaking Our Peace, and the website is www.speakingourpeace.com. 
Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We are going to be creating a new season, um, but all of our previous season is available anywhere you listen to podcasts. So I hope that you uh, enjoy what you hear today and feel as inspired as we do. Thank you.